Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 7 of Let's Play Xenogears. I remember in the last episode, we made it to the town of Dazil, and we were going to find some parts for Welltall, which, of course, didn't go as well as we hoped. Didn't go well tall as we hoped. <laughs> Puns. And now we find ourselves captured by the military. Because, of course, that happens. So, what's up, C10? To get you to ride in that gear... Doc, before the village was destroyed, I lived without doubting myself. But it's different now. I don't know who I am. I've never felt like this before. Well, we cannot do anything as long as we are prisoners, even if we wanted to. Let us rest a little. Maybe we'll sort your feelings out a little. Uh, let's talk a little bit more. Are you worried about your father? All I know is what the maids in my ho home in Lahan told me. One night, a strange masked man carried me to Lahan. I was heavily wounded at the time. In my delirium, I called out for my father. That's all they could tell me about my background. I don't remember anything of my father or my past. So I guess I'm not really all that lonely or sad. Also, let's take a look at our, uh... Abilities, like say, okay, maybe I'm not looking at abilities. Skills, perhaps. Okay, so I know Senretsu now, which is five AP. Triangle, triangle X. Okay, that's pretty cool, I guess. Now that I have more options, and we have Mufu to try to learn as well. I don't know if uh, C10 has like five AP yet. So that might be a little while. In the meantime, I think it's now time to rest. It was him. No mistake. That was no coincidence. Could it be that we are approaching the time of the gospel? Yes. The Gospel. We are the people expelled from paradise and forced to live on the cruel surface of the earth. We who fill this land will once again return to the presence of God in paradise and live there eternally. That is the time of the Gospel. That time is at hand. We, the Gazil, must find God's resting place by then and resurrect him. I guess that's Gazel? Maybe? That is our final prayer. Our final prayer? Our final prayer to escape from the fate that was determined at our genesis. Man, there's a lot of religious overtones here. Majesty, is this the end? Is C10 ever able to talk to this Emperor telepathically? Bingo! Just as the report said, an Ave transport. And look at what we have on top! No mistaking it, that's a new Kislev model. It has to be the stolen gear everyone is after. Whatever the case, there's no way we are going to let that shotgun guy have it. Gunner! Turret A, Anton, and Turret B, Belta can initiate their ecto ectropometers 20 seconds after opening their hatches. Friends! I don't hear anything other than the flowing sound of the sand. No suspicious radar activity detected. These must be the pirates. Marsless! My trans units are on standby at the catapults. They'll all be able to launch one minute after we resurface. Good. Let's do it. Batcon level one. 
He really looks like a blonde haired Vise from uh, Skies of Arcadia. Torpedo room ready! Anti gear runs, guns ready! Navigation and engineering are also ready! Wow, you look so out of place! Young master, what is happening? What was the alarm all about? Not again. Young master, hold on a second. Battle stations, everyone! Surface navigation. Begin operating the sand pump. Prepare to fire starboard cannons upon surfacing. Young master! Young master! Shrimp to the right. The wind is strong up there and we may be blown off balance. Jericho! Hand the helm over to me. Look! What is that? A sand cruiser. It must be those desert pirates. Let me guess, they're going to attack us. That's a big looking cruiser. This one's larger than the transport. Actually, I think it is larger than the transport. Alternate firing between A, a Anton and B Belta. Calculating adjustments. Aw, oh, yeah. Switch modes over to salvos after the initial shots. Let's slow them down. Get ready to give them a spank and they won't forget. Young Master, please wait. It may be just a requisition ship, not a warship. Let me handle this. Whether it's a warship or not, it's carrying a new gear. Gunner, let them have it. Maybe they're just worried you'll hit the gear. Oh, oh. We're kind of tipped over, don't you think? I don't think that's supposed to happen. Judging by the angle, it seems as if a gun blast has made a hole in the hull. We'll probably sink within minutes. A few minutes? Doc! It is locked. Somebody free us! Ark! Well, that worked. Well, the floor filled up fast. Let's get out of here, Doc. Oh god, with all the sand, you move pretty slow. Oh my god, I think there's an item over here. Receive survival tent. Okay, I do see a ladder, but what's up with the rest of this floor? I kinda wanna check that out. So there was a switch somewhere? Uh oh. Oh god, it's really catching up to us. See another item? The Rosal. Oh god. Oh god, I hope you can hold your breath, dude. Good, we made it to the ladder. God, you can barely make out what's going on. Okay, you can get on that, that's cool. Did we just get attacked? Oh god, there's six of them! Oh, that's rough. Ah, uh, let's see, what should I do? Well, I got enough for, like, triangle and X. Oh, these are Ave Corporals! Oof! At least the fire actually hit them, too. Okay, 
what would be a good idea to use for C-Tang? Let's see, I only have 4 AP, so I might as well just do this. Do Ukigumo. And even though there's not a death blow, it still does a lot of damage. Hopefully there won't be another fire. Cause that could cause some problems. Oh good, we made it! Level up! And we gain a leather hat for that! And we got a leather vest! Sweet! And we already got in another battle, like are you serious? If we had to deal with another fire, Faye's definitely gonna have to heal. Or we're in a heap of trouble. There it is. Yeah, heal up Faye, please. Wow, that's a lot of HP I just gained. Went to full. That's really helpful. Ooh, we just gained some items right there. That's real good. Whoa! I just saw a hole right there. Seems like you get in a fight almost every time you open a chest in this room. But at least we'll get some goods out of it. And I'll have to take a look to see if that leather hat is worth equipping. Engine room keep having a fire. And then it's just still there. Guys couldn't even get a sprinkler system? Like really? Like, you think the engine would have blown up by now? <laughs> I missed, and then he just fell anyway. That's hilarious. Extra R plus one. Well, I did get an extra R, so this one's obviously a better quality. Oh, I can't wear the leather hat, apparently. Wait a minute, the leather vest really increases your defense. Okay, this is where you get the leather hat. Uh, I don't really want to lower my attack, just increase my hit percentage. Now, do you get any better gear yourself? I guess I'll have to wait till I find another leather hat if I'm lucky. I don't know when that will happen. Hopefully it's anytime soon. Seems like it's dropped by the corporals, actually. So if I'm lucky, I'll get another one. Oh, there it is. Okay, you can walk around it. Good to know. So I want to get back up there again. Uh-oh. How do I get up there? Oh, okay, you just you can just walk up that. It's hard to tell unless I rotated the camera. 
Are these corporals? I can't even tell. I guess we'll just fight him anyway. Yeah, it doesn't tell me what enemy it is until it's its turn. By then, it could be too late. Okay, they're just soldiers. So soldiers may not be worth fighting, but the uh, corporals are... If I were to guess, if we can get another hat... You know, a C-10 could use one, too. His hair just doesn't be shown that much. <laughs> or rather, the enemies keep hitting his hair. And we need that hat to protect it. Oh, God, there was a hole right there. I didn't even see it. Oh, what? There was another one? Okay, we made it. Oof. Phew, that was close. Yeah, no kidding. I guess we may not be able to get a leather hat anytime soon. Unless we just decide to buy one. Also, how's the Deathblow experience going? Deathblow experience just sounds like a great name for a heavy metal tour. Alright, check the status of Faye. Ability skills. Oh, Hagen's at 100! I think that's that square X combo I've been using. So pretty soon I should have that death blow mastered. And Mufu's almost mastered too, but I can't really do it. At least not until C10's probably level 10. There you go, get all that protein in your diet. Barely make out what's happening. It's a bit dark. Can we escape? Yes, we can escape. Maybe we'll just go around this way. Okay, at least you don't have to go on the boxes. That would have been pretty frustrating. It's like one of the stages in Banjo-Tooie all over again. Oh, God. Okay, these must be the Corporals. So I think we should take them out first. What? Oh, terrible combo. Okay, are we safe from engine fires? Since we're on a different floor? Yeah, I think we are. The engine was on the second floor. Alright, let's take that last one. Oh my god, you okay, still died. That's hilarious. Now let's eliminate the last of the soldiers. They can't really be a threat until they throw grenades. Because our bullets just do little damage. At least they give you enough time to enter your combo. It's like, the air hit me so hard that I died anyway. And there we go, C-10 leveled up. And they're in Mufu. 
and got Ranky as the uh, Ether Art. Nice. Oh, there's our other leather hat. Doc, put that on right now. There, now your defense is even higher. Okay, we found the ladder. Let's get out of here. Doc? Where did you go, Doc? Faye! Can you hear me? I'm moving the crane towards Welltall's cockpit. Hurry! Go up to the crane. Go up the crane to Welltall. You're going under fast! I got you, Doc. But when you're done, you hurry up there too, okay? Okay, I can't take too long. I don't know if you can fall- Ah, you can fall off! But you can recover. Okay, this doesn't look like you- Really? Let me try jumping. Oh, Jesus! God, I'm just as slippery as Luigi from Lost Levels! Oh, that sand is catching up fast. I made it. Oh, that could have gone horribly. Here we go again. You and I seem to have a faded relationship. Yeah, I really do be like that. <laughs> This thing cannot sink. Come on, Doc! Over here! Hurry up! Looks like we got out of here just in time. Whew, that was close. Are you okay, Doc? Haha! <laughs> well, Dr. Isitan Uzuki. Feels like you have sacked your saccules and tickled your utricles enough for one lifetime. Wow! Dizzy! Uh, in English, please? Sorry about that, Doc. I didn't have time to open up the cockpit. Are you really okay, Doc? Hey, I was only joking. Riding in the hand was not so bad. I can see what is so good about this top secret experimental Kislab machine. Yeah. When I started it up, it began doing all kinds of stuff by itself. The environmental response system and weight reduction hovering kicked in straight away. Automatically. Really? Amazing. Save yourselves, but leave your friends to sink in a sea of sand. Don't you believe in comradeship? I mean, they arrested us, so I don't really think they're friends. Oh, it's those pirates. They got a gear, too. Is even got a freaking, what, mohawk? It's not very manly of you two to leave your platoon to die while you run away in a gear, you know. Looks like something out of Power Rangers. Wait one moment. We're not Ave soldiers. Hmm. Can't you make a better plea for your life? You come jumping out of an Ave ship and claim that you are not Ave soldiers? Stop trying to fool me. I tell you, it's true. How pathetic are you? Even if you're the pettiest of soldiers. How's about showing a little spine? I put up a decent fight. Stop it! I'm telling you I'm no soldier! I don't want to fight! 
How nauseating. Why not just stop grumbling? Leave the gear and run away. Wait, does your... Does your gear have, like, a whip? For someone who doesn't want to fight, you're quite powerful. I see. An all-environment model. So that's it, huh? Now I want it even more! Okay, this thing does not have a lot of defense. Wild smile. Accuracy and evasion down? And I also see it's pretty fast. Now let's try Red Boo. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Red Boo is triangle and square. If you're at attack level 1. Because my camera's damaged, I missed easily. Ooh, and has Chain Whip. Oh, that's multiple attacks at once. Wow, even if I miss the first attack, Repu will get over 200. I like that. I don't like that my uh, accuracy is still damaged. And my hit percentage is not the best on the best of times, either. Blocked the second attack, so I didn't get a lot there. Jeez. Maybe when you're doing a death blow, your uh, your debuffs are not really effective when it comes to accuracy. Maybe that's it. Or maybe it is. And I just ran into a string of bad luck. Whoa! What the? Oh no! This is not good. In the heat of battle, I do get caught in quicksand. Darn! Me of all people. Now well, that's what you get for being hot-headed. Damn! It's all your fault! Boy, are you gonna get it later. So be darn... Ready. Of course I had to burp in the middle of a sentence. Why? Well, this certainly sucks. That we're trapped in a cave. Uh, at least we're not buried alive. Hey, come on down here now. I'm not gonna kill ya. All I want is for you to leave this gear. Huh? Hey! You're... not an Ave soldier? Yeah, what do you think I've been trying to tell you? I told you that in my intercom transmission earlier. You're the one who refused to listen to me, right? <laughs> sorry, sorry. Yes, I remember you were saying something like that. I went off half-cocked and thought you were the enemy. Ahem. My name is Bart. I'm the pirate that works this territory. My name is Faye. I was arrested for no apparent reason, shoved into that Ave transport ship. I was nearly going to be sent to a concentration camp until you went and blew the thing to blazes. Anyway, I'm just glad to have been able to survive. Well, how do you know you were going to a concentration camp? They never mentioned anything about that. I see. Well, I'm glad I at least helped you out a little. But I didn't expect a civilian like you would be riding in a military gear. Besides, this gear is a brand new model. I've never seen this type before. Let's just say that a lot of things have happened. It wasn't like I wanted to pilot it. Where are we anyway? Looks like we fell into one weird place. I never heard of huge stalactite caves such as this existing under the desert before. What? You don't know anything, do you? Where are you from? The desert only covers about 1,000 shards to the outer layer of the earth. The stratum underneath that consists of igneous rock. From a sea of trees to a sea of sand. And now a stalactite cave. What's next? 
Uh, water that flows sideways? <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, nothing. Never mind. We're in trouble. Look, the hole we fell through it disappeared. We better find some other way out. So, you want to call a truce for now? At least until we find an exit and get out of here. Yes, agreed. First, we gotta find the way out of here, so let's get going. Phew, thank god. I don't want to dry up and die up in the desert. Hey you! I know you're tired, but don't go any further than there. Shut up! You sunk our ship! Don't you forget that. Oh, you shut up! Just be thankful that you were saved. Excuse me? Is there anyone who is almost dead with no arms and legs or in need of an abdominal operation? No one? Well, that's depressing. And I was gonna try it out with no anesthesia either. I see. So your young one has not just been shooting at anything and everything then, Sigurd. Yes, he actually calculated this attack. Or so he says. As you can see, no one has died this time either. Uh, except for the soldiers that we killed. Sigurd, sir! The collection of the goods and soldiers from the Ave transport is almost complete. We still can't locate the young master. General Maitreya's platoon will scout around again. Okay. I'm counting on you. Yes, sir. Since I'm part of the unit, I'll also excuse myself. So, what happened to this young one you call Master? He fell into an underground cave with that other guy in a gear. It's near an old excavation site, and he is riding in a gear. So he'll probably be able to come up somehow... We'll try to find him for a while, and if that doesn't work, then we'll wait for him at our meeting point. You seem to trust him a lot. Trust him? Yeah, I trust he'll get us into trouble! But I never thought I would meet you here, Hugh. It is not coincidence. It is an inevitable consequence, I assume. Wait, why is it called Hugh? Huga, are you saying something is about to happen? Whoa, what is going on here? Why does it have a whole different name around Sigurd? Oh, wait a minute, now we're operating the gears itself. Oh, wait a minute, I'm supposed to go to gear for this. I can get on or off. Gear equip. I got extra R, which is good. But I did get extra R plus one. So let's go ahead and do that. Increases response and defense, so I should keep that. What about the brigandier? You have extra R plus one. Increases agility in desert. Probably keep that. I don't know. Is the stalactite cave considered desert? I don't know. Prevents camera damage. I guess we're good with this for now. Okay. Fuel for well tall is 810 because we used up a lot of it before. And bring Dura's 1200. Got a shot, inner healing. All oh, that restores gear defense. Enemy accuracy down with wild smile. All right. Okay, so we got a little bit of a bit of trouble. I mean, I should save. I don't think you use any fuel while you're on the gear itself. That would be a little weird. If anything, I don't think the fuel is used only for combat.
So let's try this thing out, shall we? So there you go. I think we're on to something here. You know, let's play a little bit more. Dying to test to try investigating this area. Okay, you do get in combat in here. Whoa, what is that? That's a pretty high defense. Those are sad men, of course, but they're really small when you're in a gear. Tin Robo! Okay, I want to hit this one. Take it out with a red boot. And it's down. Does this guy even... Does Brigand Deer even have death blows? I don't know. Is it just me, or does fuel replenish after every battle? Yeah, I don't think if Bart has, like, any death blows at this point. Since I can only use one move. I'm gonna have to take a look. Hey, he's level 10 now. Good stuff. I'm gonna have to take a look at Bard's abilities. He's got Headhunter, like if he's outside of a gear. Has Wild Smile, which apparently he can do even outside of a gear. Gear option? Hmm. Can't really see death blows for the gear. I guess I'll just keep on going. How far down does this cave even go? Oh look, there's a boulder right there! My sensors detect what appears to be a huge cave on the other side of here. If only we could do something about this boulder. But I doubt we could just smash it to pieces. I guess we could try pushing it. Wait, no matter how you look at it. What the heck are you doing? Hurry up and help! It looks like we can get to the other side of it now. We can get by if we help each other. Let's keep it up so we can get out of here. The hydromechanic pipe from my knee joints is on the verge of breaking down. It's all because of that fall from the ceiling, followed by pushing this mega colossal boulder. It won't be funny if my gear malfunctions in a huge cavern like this. Your friends won't come and help us? It'd be a waste of time waiting. They probably won't come. But aren't they your friends? We believe in a liberal upbringing. They'll think we can escape by ourselves. I wonder if Doc is okay. I don't know if like uh, relying on other people to help themselves is considered liberal, but whatever. Don't worry about the man you were with. I'm sure our guys saved him by now. What is it? We wouldn't have fallen in here if you had only listened to me. Don't blame it on me. You should have surrendered instead of challenging me. All I wanted was your gear. You already have one. Don't be ridiculous. You're the one who blindly attacked me. 
What else was I supposed to do? I thought I might die if I didn't fight you. I was taking it easy on you, couldn't you tell? Then you're a bit dense. Don't lie to me. I know you were serious. What? You want some? Let's have it out, right here. Wait! Selling it right here comes first. I won't be able to get anything done until we settle this once and for all. I thought you wanted a truce for now. Getting out of here should come first. Once we're out of here, then I'll fight you all you want. Let's hurry up and move on out of here. I don't like you very much. Damn it, I'll get you when we get out of here. Well, then suck it up, Buttercup. <laughs> I did see a box over there. Let's open it. A gold nugget. Ooh. I bet you that can sell for pretty much. Alright, is this the right way to go? I hope it is. We'll just keep following the path. I don't know, even when I'm holding dash, you kind of move a bit slow. What on earth is that? Look at those cables! I did zero damage? It's a mayfly. Oh, it drops your defense? Oh no. Okay, you can't take it down with death blows. That's a ton of damage. I might have to charge this time. Let's try chain whip. Well, it hurt it. Guided shot, perhaps? That might actually be better. Considering it's got really high defense. Uh, it only did 41. I don't have anything that just restores fuel. This is a problem. And it is pretty hard, so what if we just make it miss? Okay, it worked. Charge only gets you like 30 fuel. That's not a lot. Oh my god. We pretty much have to use death blows. Be enough. We don't really have a lot of power on these things. Compared to a Mayfly's defense. And it's still alive! What on earth? At least the Brigadier can do, like, five damage to it. Meanwhile, with my, like, regular hit, I do zero. I'm definitely gonna have to heal after this. Holy crap. You can't boost your attack level by charging. That fuel is dangerously going down. Please 
please finish it. It seems like it's barely moving. So we're getting closer to defeating it. Oh my god, that was irritating. This was one enemy! We both leveled up, though, so that's good. Oh, we got an extra R plus one! Oh, that's really good! So they can drop those. There, that'll boost your defenses even higher. Might be a good idea to get as much of these as we can. Okay, can't give those to Gears, unfortunately. Alright, let's just keep on going on this path. That was a pretty long way, I've noticed. How far does it even go? I have no idea. I guess we just keep on going here. There's no sense in dropping down. I have an excav excavation site number eight, gear number three. Uh, let's tell the current situation. Sand sensors have detected an abnormal amount of sand. The sand barrier south of Terra Stones has been sealed to prevent sand from entering excavation site. What's with this gear? It's well maintained for a gear just left lying around like this. Alright, you should probably do the second option. There is a barrier wall in the southeast of Terra Stones that was built to stop the shifting of sand. Until the barrier reopens, please assemble at the shelter located to the east of the barrier wall. Please assemble to the shelter located to the east of the barrier wall? Okay, well at least there's a shelter. That must be it right there. Who would have thought there would be someone living in a place like this? Let's check it out. Yeah, let us do that. Maybe this spot has no encounters? It seems like a pretty relaxing place. We'll have to get out of the gears first. Hey, Faye! This is a surprise. There's someone living in this place. Hmm, it's been a while, but I thought I could hear the sound of gears. I assume they are yours? Well, anyway, come on back in here and make yourself at home. Well, at least we have a place to rest. It's been a long time since my last visitor. What happened? Did you fall from the surface? I guess that's it. I see. That's too bad. I can tell from the sound that you both ride good gears. But the legs seem to be playing up a bit. You mean, you can tell what's wrong just by the sound of its footsteps? Ha ha ha! It's easy to know what's wrong with gears by the sounds they make. I guess that one of them needs a new hydromechanic pipe in its joints. It's making a nasty sound. It must be hard to walk with it too. Oh, by the way, the name's Balthazar. But you can call me Old Man Bal. Oh yeah? So it looks like we got a real fanatic here, huh? What's an old man like you doing in a place like this? I guess you could call me a fossicker or a collector of things. There is much to be found lying around in this here stalactite cavern. A collector, huh? Sounds interesting. The things on this shelf, are they some of the stuff you have found? You mean the fossils? They're one of the things I collect. Feel free to have a look at them. Around here, you can dig up ancient machines along with human and animal fossils. Notice anything particular on these shelves? They go from oldest on the left to newest on the right. Are you an archaeologist or something, old man? I don't quite see what you're talking about. 
They just look like a bunch of old bones to me. Babe, what do you think? Let me see. First, there are no human bones up to here. Then from here on over to the right, something is slightly different, I guess. Yes! From a certain point in time, human fossils suddenly no longer appear. That point is roughly 10,000 years ago. What does that mean? Don't ask me. I don't know for sure. But my guess is, there were no humans on this planet before then. At least, it appears so. How can that be? What about all that talk about evolution? You mean the theory of evolution is taught by the ethos, right? You can't trust that. Rather, I believe in the old legends and myths. Oh, God. Legends? Myths? Haven't you heard of this story? They say that humans and God live together in a paradise in the sky. With God's protection, there is no fear of death and natural disasters were entirely unknown. Then one day, the humans ate a forbidden fruit which gave them incredible wisdom. But God drove mankind from the paradise for their sin. Oh yeah, the Garden of Eden story. Bitter at having been driven out of paradise, humans used the wisdom they had gained to make giants. With these giants, they planned to challenge God himself, but God poured his wrath down upon them. It's kind of like a reference to like the Tower of Babel and then like maybe the Flood? All who defied God were destroyed, but God himself did not escape unharmed. Taking Paradise with them, the wounded God buried himself deep beneath the ocean to sleep for eons. But before going to sleep, God used his remaining power to create right-hearted humans to live on this planet. These people are said to be our ancestors. Well, anyway, I'll stop my rambling now. By the way, does this cave have... an exit? There is an exit and excavation site beyond the sand barrier. You can get outside through there. Sand barrier? You mean that huge wall you can see from your entrance? Yes, that's it. On the other side is an old Ave excavation site. They built the wall when Ave was excavating here to keep the sand from falling in from above. But they stopped work there now. So how do we open such a huge thing like that? If it's a wall, you can probably break it down. Hold your horses there, young'uns. No matter how good a gear you'll have, you'll never break that wall down. It's much too strong. So, let's make a deal. A deal? The wall was closed due to the reaction of the sand sensors. Thanks to that, now I can't get through to the other side either. Maybe it happened when you two fell in here. Were you boys fighting up there or something? You seem to be able to tell everything. Anyway, so what can we do about it? It's very simple. You just have to turn off the sand sensor and switches. Doing that will keep the barrier from closing again. While you two are doing that, I'll open it up. Right, got it. The sensors are in two places. You should see their flashing red lights. Well, good luck then. Let's go, Bart. Oh, before you go, I can share some parts of fuel with you. Just talk to me whenever you need something, alright? Thanks, old man. Well, we'll go and finish up our part of the deal then. Oh, if I can get some fuel, that'd be amazing. Now hurry and shut off the sand sensors. Or do you have something else you want to ask? Uh, got any parts to sell? Hmm, which do you want? Uh, let's say for gear use. First, changing the engine is a good idea. Okay, let's tune up the engine. Okay, so if I do that, I can tune it up even more. And uh, give it like G6-1200. So that's as good as it's gonna be. Uh, can I give it to Bart? Chosen equipment has abilities less than or equal to current. 
Okay, so I guess I have to go to Brigandier first. Okay, cycling is a little weird. Yeah, we'll start with the engine. We can get this thing more fuel, but it's only like 80 gold? Sure, I'll do that. And only 30 gold for this one. Next, I might want to work on the frame. That gives me 2100 HP. And this gives me 2500 HP. So this is better. Obviously, I'm going to want more health, so let's take that. And that's for a different one. That's for the Heimdall, which we don't have. And we can give you a much better frame. Like, right now, you have, like, the 1900. Let's go with the 2700. But we're going to run low on money real fast. I mean, if anything, we can just fight enemies around and get more. The MS-3. Okay, let's upgrade that to get the MS-6. There, we pretty much upgraded everything we could use. We can get new weapons? All right, can we get it for the Brigandier? No. So there's no weapons we can get there. However, we can get extra armor. Which we already have. Do I need to sell anything? Maybe the gear I should probably buy is for people. Let me see what they got. Got any parts to sell? Uh, for character use. Okay, you only just get this stuff. Eh, it's alright. Actually, let me ask about gear functions. Then we'll probably save and end the episode. Good thing I have enough money to upgrade our uh, gears to the best they can be. A gear strain changes the parts equipped and how the pilot handles it. First, let's talk about the engine. With a good engine, your attack power and fuel capacity go up. HP depends on the frame and defense ability on the armor equipped. Here's a tip for when your fuel is low. Use charge to replenish it a little as you defend yourself. When you are fighting a strong enemy, use booster to increase your mobility and power. If you use booster too much though, your fuel will run out. So think carefully and try to find your own style of fighting. Gotcha. Well, the gears are as good as it's gonna be. So I guess I can fight around a little bit and get some more experience. Probably do some of that fighting outside the gear. Can I? May not be a good idea in a place like this. But let's finally save the game. Could really do that right now. Because this is going on pretty long. Yeah, almost an hour. Wow. I mean, that's what happens when you fight one of those Mayfly monsters or robots. It took a while for sure. Alright, next episode we'll find some sensors so we can get out of this cave. Goodbye everyone, thanks for watching.